Two years into this global pandemic, it finally caught up to me. And uh, well, last week, safe to say that I was taking it pretty easy at home, isolating, resting, recovering. Now, not or 10 days later, feeling much better, and I'm ready to get back after it. I have a island camp spot picked out for tonight. It's only about a 15, 20 minute paddle for me to get to from my place, but I think it will be the perfect way for me to get back into a rhythm and recharge my batteries on a beautiful day like today. So this island that I have picked out is actually surrounded by what we call cottages in Canada. Uh, cabins, lake houses, people's places. Technically, I guess this is my first time ever dabbling in the stealth camping realm. We call it intro to stealth camp. There she be. Obviously, it's a very tiny island, so there's not a whole lot to show you. So I'm looking for a flat spot, but also looking for a spot that offers some decent cover as well. This whole half of the island is basically one big slope and, well, it's wide open, so it gives us no cover. I also think we found somebody's golf practice range. All right, well, this is home. It's hard to tell. I can see lots looking out, but I don't think that necessarily means that people would be able to see to see me decently flat, decently sheltered. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna have to do. I think what we'll do is put the drone up in the air and I'll just kind of circle the island, just to see if and how visible my whole setup is. Here comes another boat. Feel pretty confident that no one's gonna notice me here. Because it's such a small island with such little cover, I opted not to bring my big yellow tent or my big red tent. Like that's just asking to get caught. So tonight we're just gonna be we're gonna be roughing it out in the open here. I might sleep under the canoe, uh, just on this on this foam pad here with my um, with my winter sleeping bag. As nice as it is right now, it's like 10 degrees outside, 10 degrees Celsius. It's still getting to like minus five-ish temperatures overnight, so it might be a rough one. Yep. Yep, this will do. So since we are stealth camping, we won't be making any fires today. I think that's like the number one rule of stealth camping is don't make a fire. It's an easy way to give yourself up. So I brought my knockoff jet foil cooking system. It's pretty tiny, light. Cooking up some steak fajitas tonight. But until then, I'm just gonna hang around, relax, and enjoy this weather. All 
All right, well, let's get to cooking. First things first, a proper beverage in honor of our first nice, truly nice day of camping. Cheers to that. We're doing steak fajitas, with onion, green, red pepper. I also got an avocado, some limes, a bunch of spices. Oh, that's cold. Oh, God. Next, we'll add the peppers. Oh! Lost a few soldiers. Now for the main event, do a little bit of salt, a lot of pepper, big pepper guy, chili powder, some cumin, going everywhere, and a little bit of garlic. Flip this over. And both sides are good to go. The rest of this oil in there. And I think we'll get the vegetables back in here to get some spice mix on them as well. And hopefully the steak is cooked right through. Oh, well, you know what? It's looking a little bit rare, but it's going to do. Got some sour cream, of course. Add the steak. The vegetables. I have a cato. So the big issue I'm facing right now is I got these mini wraps. And I overloaded these. I think these would have been overloaded if they were like regular size wraps. Check these bad boys out. How good does that look? There's no way. There's no way that's folding. <laughs> mm really good it's really good the only thing I'm missing is some hot sauce other than that it's great <laughs> this guy what do you want there's no leftovers just became a very dangerous situation. <laughs> Good news is our geese, our geese friends have left us. I was getting a little nervous. It looked like they were contemplating a fight. I don't know. They were swimming around, they were honking a bit. They even jumped up on the island a couple times. Thought I uh, thought I was in some trouble, but for now, I think we're okay. making moves on me oh no hey easy buddy you go to my side you can stay on your side it's not good I did check before I set up there's no nest 
but I'm thinking they might want to, you know, tonight. I'm going to be sharing the island tonight with our two friends, our two new pals. Well, as long as I leave him alone, I think it should be fine. Maybe they're plotting something. I don't know why, but geese scare me more than bears and wolves. <laughs> geese are the real threat, man. Those things are terrifying, and they will attack unprovoked. I'm not gonna rest easy knowing that they're on, they're on the other side of this island. I mean, nothing you can really do about it. Worst case, Ontario, you might get a beak to the face, but <laughs> I think I'll be okay. I'm gonna lie here until uh, I fall asleep. I'll catch you in the morning. Good morning. Slept like a baby. More importantly, most importantly, zero goose attacks. I want to get out of here at a pretty good time. It's because it's a Saturday. It's the first nice Saturday of the year. I could see a lot of people you know, being at the docks, putting their boats in. The sooner I can get out of here, the better. I'm just gonna boil some water for coffee and uh, a quick oatmeal breakfast. Get our coffee all ground up. For breakfast, we got maple brown sugar and cinnamon and spice. Doing the mixture today. so good warming my soul hmm. finally some coffee that's strong It's a strong way, very bold way to start your day. But I love it. Well, the goal was to get out of here before any of the cottagers woke up. And well, I think we accomplished that. What a great night that was. Great first stealth camping experience. Let me know in the comments if you, like, if you guys like this kind of video. I had a blast doing it, um, something new for me. Um, but yeah, I think it worked out pretty well. Got about a 20 minute paddle home. And yeah, just gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll catch you in the next one.